Hello, good evening. Hi guys. Jamie and Luis. Hello, 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 Mauricio. How are you? Hola. How was your day? Hello, uh, David. How yeah. is how is this December? Yes. We're busy. <laughs> busy working. Busy working a lot. I have problem with the with the exercise. I have only two goods and the rest are bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we're good sounds yeah. good sounds good guys all right well i'm glad that you're here guys um uh, we're gonna continue reviewing guys the topics and um so so i know guys that thank you so much guys for the ones who have been working on the platform i know that you know i know who's been working there guys so thank you very much for that okay um, with that being said, guys, uh, who has not finished the platform? Hi. Hi. Okay. Very good. All right. So we're going to go, we're going to go through those answers, guys. Okay. No worries. Uh, we're going to go through these answers together and, uh, I'm going to explain it to you and then you're going to, you're going to try to finish them alone. Okay. All right. Anyways, thank you for being early guys. So Jimmy, how was your day at work? Uh, um, busy. Was busy. <laughs> Why? What do you do? Uh, I. Uh, I was. I was. Um, was have a. Uh, a meeting. Uh, Had a meeting. Yeah. In the morning, the meeting in the afternoon, in the meeting. <laughs> okay. All day, all day, all only meeting and meeting. All right. So you okay? Very good. All right, guys. Yeah. So okay, very good. So yesterday, guys, we were talking about second conditionals. All right. So guys, what do we use second conditionals for? Conditional. Yeah, what do we use second conditionals for? If. No. Uh huh. If, if I. If I found. Maybe. I, I, this is the first conditional, second condition. If I, I don't remember. Okay. All right. So the, if, if guys is just, you know, that's, that's just the start of the if clause. Okay. So second conditional, guys, my question is, what do we use second conditional for? For what purpose do we use second conditional? Uh-huh. I, I, I'm not sure, but this is the compliment when, when say, if I, if I found $750,000, dollars I will, I will, uh, I will buy a, a car. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I suppose. Okay, but what do, what are we using? It, what do we use it for, guys? What what is it? What do we use it for? We can use uh, we for can use real, where... real, and real conditions. Unreal situations. Unreal situations, guys. Unreal okay, situation. we use it for imaginary situations, right? Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Who who has finished exercise five point four? Have you done I, the 5.4? I finished, but I had uh, most have of many the, problems in, most in of 5.4. I have many problems. I have many okay. problems. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at your answer. Let's work together, guys, and uh, we'll see the answers after this, okay? All right. So I'm going to go into each of your rooms, guys, to see what you're answering and why you're, why you're answering the way you're answering, okay? And I'll help you, all right? Sounds like a plan? Everybody, sounds like a plan. Sounds like, sounds, like sounds, like sounds like a plan. Ah, like, sounds, like sounds, a sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like a plan, right? It means, like, guys, like sounds plan. good. It's okay. You know, it's just another way to say it's okay, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, let's do it. Okay, it's more like let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, hold, hold your horses, guys. Hold your horses, okay? Because I'm going to need more rooms because uh, we're probably going to have more people joining. So let me create more rooms, okay? Yeah, let me create like 
12 rooms, maybe 10 rooms. And then? All right. All done, guys. Hold your horses, guys. <laughs> hey, what happened with the woman? With what woman? Only me. No. The other partner. No, she's, she's, uh, don't worry. <laughs> All don't right, very worry, good, be guys. Happy. Don't worry, be happy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, Mark, I need to sign you, and Maurice, I need to sign you. Very good, let's go. All right, guys, so let's work on this together. Hello, teacher. Hello, Can sir. Can you help me? Hello. <laughs> Uh, we'll see, we'll see, okay? It depends what you're doing, okay? Okay. All right. Exercise 5.4. Yes, let's go with exercise. Share your screen so we can go ahead and, and solve it together, okay? We'll see what's going on, right? Mm. Let's go. Well, I have the screen in here, but I don't know how to share. Um, there is a button on the lower on the lower side of the screen. It says share screen. If you have it in English, it right? I don't know how. I... It's at the bottom of the screen. Jimmy, if Let you me... can, if you can, if you can uh, yeah. share your screen, you know that would be great. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. I don't know how. Let me wait. Ah, okay. Bye. Can you see my? Yes, I, I can see that. Right now, I can Did see. Did I have a problem with with that? <laughs> with what? And the final. Five point four. Five point four. Where? Okay. Oh, it's it's yeah. okay. Yeah, let's let's jump into five point four, guys. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Five point four, yes. Yeah, I. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, that's your screen. Okay. Oh, but you already completed yeah. it all, man. Yeah. Is that five point four? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, you have already completed all. Okay, yeah. never, never mind then. Okay, hold on. Let me assign more people, guys, because more people can, can. Teacher, I have a, I, I have a problem with the final exercise, final exam. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. We're gonna go through that later. Not we... right now. We're gonna go through ah, okay. that later. No, not today. Okay. All right. Very good. Continue ah. working, guys. Uh, so you can help Mauricio if you want. Okay. I'm going to help other people, okay? No Spanish, guys. How are you doing? No Spanish. <laughs> Spanish Titanic, right? No Spanish. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I, I, I don't know, but maybe I, let me check my my computer okay. about the platform. Hold on, I got to check on other people right now. All right, guys, uh, I think that you just joined us, so let, we're doing 5.4 5 .4 right now. The exercise 5.4. Oh. Did you complete the exercise, Victor and Carla? Have you completed uh, the exercise? I don't know yet. Five, forty-four. Right. I, was, that, okay? I was trying to do it, but I that, have some difficult. That's that's what I'm here for, okay? If you have not done it because you are having issues, then I will help you with that, okay? So pull it up, exercise 5.4, share your screen, and I'll be back, okay? To help you. Okay. Try to solve it yourselves. And I'll be back with you. Okay. We're doing exercise 5.4. All right. Did you complete? Uh, did you complete that exercise already? Five. 5.4. Did you complete it already? Yeah, I completed. Okay. So you have. Okay. What about you, Elizabeth? Have you completed the exercise already? Elizabeth. All right. What about you, Jorge? Have you completed everything? Do you have 100% in the platform? Yeah. Oh, you already got 100%? And, 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 
One question, mistake. One what? I'm sorry. And 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 one and and in a one question is mistake. You have a mistake. Okay, you only have one mistake. Okay. In good. the. Uh huh. In the exam field final. On the final exam, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, right? All right. So the reason why I'm asking, it's okay. We're gonna go through the final exam later. Uh, what about you, Elizabeth? Have you completed? All right, uh, let's just come here. All right, so if you have completed it, just practice. Uh, hello, Lucia, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so Jorge, if, if Lucia hasn't completed the exam, just explain to her, okay, what the answer should be, why. After you finish, all right, let's just, let's just talk, okay? Let's just practice, okay? I'm gonna help other people that have issues with with this section, okay? Okay. All right, very good. All right. How are we doing? Hi, Do teacher. Still have, you still have issues? <laughs> Hello, guys. So, did you I... get? Did you? Do you still have issues here? Five point four. Yes, but yeah. I have problems with my connection. I, I... I have problem, teacher, with the sentence. All right, if I could afford to fix it. To fix it. Uh -huh. I... Why did you... Okay, uh, why are you saying I did walk every... every I... I... I need a postal for. Why are you saying yeah, I did? I I crazy teacher. I'm crazy. Okay, all right. Let's try to fix it. Okay. Yes. Why are you using if? Why are you saying if? Why is that if? I have to. Is that the structure of a second conditional? Oh. No. No. All right, I'm not going to give you the answer because you should have the structure of a second condition, okay? That, uh, that question is really, that, that exercise is super easy, but you're not using the structure of a second condition. Use the notes that you have in your notebook, and then you'll be able to answer that, okay? Okay. All right. Is at the end of the sentence that we don't use. Uh, all right, guys, so did we solve the exercise 5.4? Five. Maybe uh, Lino, he need understand. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's, okay. So did, did we did we solve it, guys? Did we solve it already? Okay. Okay. Let me. Do that. Uh, 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 uh. Check. All right. Bad. Hello, Esther. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I just come to my home. That's okay. I understand. Right now. <laughs> uh, we're doing exercise 5.4. Have you finished the platform, Esther? Uh, the... Yes, number... The section 4 is finished. Okay, very good. Section 5. We're doing section 5 now. 5. 5.4, right? Yes, 5.4. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, so we're going to go back now, but we're going to solve it together, okay? Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Guys, make sure, guys, that whenever you, you know, whenever you, you get the class, guys, take notes, okay? If you don't take notes, guys, you're not going to remember anything. 
right? Especially guys, because we're not very young anymore, right? <laughs> Most of us are not very young, guys. So, so just take notes, okay? Only you can use the guy. Yeah, I, 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 I know, I know. It's, it's hard, it's hard to hear you right now. I robot. Internet connection. All right, guys. So, guys, you have to remember the structure of a second conditional. What is the structure of a second conditional, guys? Or an unreal conditional, which is the same. What is the structure for that? So, who'd like to tell me, guys, what the structure is? Five, four, three. Leah, let's go. Tell me what the structure of a, of a sentence in second conditional is. Sorry, if. If, uh huh. And the conditional. Uh, give me one moment. Um, if you. If you. If plus past simple, right? If you have three months. All right. If plus. No, I'm talking about the structure. If plus past simple plus what, guys? I'm sorry, I lost. Is <laughs> plus past? Um, yeah, the plus. Okay. Um, okay, so subject, subject plus what? What? Plus a model, Passing guys. Okay, past. plus a model, plus what else? Make uh -huh. Plus what else? Past a uh, simple past verb. No. Simple present. Verb. Okay, all right. Verb in base form. Okay, plus complement, right? Complement. Okay, so this is structure, guys. Don't forget about mm -hmm. this structure, okay? The reason why you are not able to answer is because of the structure. All right, so. What is the answer for number one, guys? According to the um, according to the structure we've discussed so far, what is the answer for number one? If you have. If you have. All right. If you months. had, not if you have. If you uh, had. If you had. If you had. Three months. Three months to travel. To travel. Uh huh. Where? Mm -hmm. Where will? Will you go? You. Where would you go? Okay, question mark, right? Very good. Oh, that's CC. What is the answer here? I will. Oh, that's okay. easy. Okay. What a easy. Fly. I will fly. We'll I fly. fly. Very good. I fly. Very good. Now, okay, do I have to write down the whole sentence or is just the phrase, guys? It should be the whole sentence, right? Should it be the whole sentence? The whole sentences. Okay, very good. Okay, the so after I finish. Oh, that's easy, <laughs> that right? I yeah. would fly or I'd, right? I'd fly to Antarctica. Antarctica. I've always wanted to go there, right? See. All right, that's Antarctica. Antarctica. Okay, okay, very good. Wait, what? Oh, well, why ass? Oh, <laughs> Always. Boy. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. Number number two, guys. What is the answer for number two, Marco? Let's go. If your doctor told you. Uh huh. Your doctor told you. Doctor told you to uh -huh. get more exercise. To get more exercise. Which uh -huh. uh, which for? Huh? Would would you choose? Very good. Which sport would you choose? Okay, Sofia Pacheco. Let's go for the next one. I'm not sure. I might go. All right, remember to turn on your cameras, guys, please. All right. Uh, Sofia Pacheco, what, which is the which is this one? All right, let's go. You are muted. If you're talking, you're muted. 
Lucia, no. Sorry, okay. sorry. Uh, <laughs> just say the yeah, Sofia. So. Oh, I said Sofia. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I go enjoying two or three times a week. But I am. But I'm. Go, but I going. Is this the answer, guys? But I going. I. My. I need. I would go jogging oh, yes, yes. two or three <laughs> times a week, right? All right. Yes. Be careful because I was not hearing the topic. Okay, number Esther, number number three, B three. B three. Esther. Sorry, let let me see. What? Uh huh. What what? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. what 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 uh, were what? you what were you okay what were you no what do you what do no, you I don't know teacher let's go what Try do it. you already what, what do you what do you so we're talking about you? simple present what okay. would? What what? What would? What would? What would you? What, what okay. would you do if right. your car? Your car. Break down. Break down. Broke down. Broke down. Broke down. Okay, broke down. Okay, so what would you do if your car broke down? All right. Now I don't know if it's gonna take like two question marks or just one. I might probably be just one guy, so um, I don't know, guys. It has two questions marked there. Uh, that that is incorrect, but let's see, guys. We'll see. Okay, if it takes it, if it actually, if it if it's actually correct with just one question mark. Okay. All right, B, guys. So B, what is what is uh, number three B? What do you think, um, Marco? Let's go, Marco. Oh, teacher. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should be like yes, sure. <laughs> there you go. You are a a a, a punch. I am a punch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ponchao. So, yes. so you're a punch. Teacher, ponchao, three out. Tell, tell him, Maurice. Tell him. If I uh, have if problem I... with the three A. Three A. I so I write I, I wrote. wrote Wrote? Well, I wrote, what would you do mm -hmm. if your car broke down? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. How do you spell it, broke? B-R-O-K-E. K-E. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, very good. All right, so <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Uh, the other if mouth. I, if oh, I yeah, go ahead. couldn't. Uh-huh. If I couldn't afford to fix it, to fix it, huh? I, I, I don't remember. I will. I. I'd. I'd. Have have to, to walk, walk everywhere. everywhere. Okay, good job. All right. Uh, let's see, Carla Gabriela, number number B four. Uh, number four, mm, would you break, break into your house if you lock your safe out? Teacher is only house, no houses. Okay, would you break into your house? That, that actually makes more sense. Would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? Okay, very good. And last one, guys. Uh, let's see, Mauricio. A a any Mauricio, guys? Either Mauricio. It's okay. Okay. The last one. Yes. If uh, if I didn't have. Uh huh. If I didn't have another key. I will ask a neighbor for help. Okay, that's a neighbor. For help, very good. Uh -huh. 
All right, let's see, guys. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excuse Walter. me. Walter. <laughs> the another, the another Mauricio. <laughs> the other Mauricio. The other. I have Mauricio. problems with the four A. The four A. Yes. Would you break? Would you break into your house if you if you lock yourself out? Okay. Yeah. And there's a correct. Yeah. But but is is by the platform? No, Maybe it's by your side. It's not like yes. that. Will you break? <laughs> it's Will you break? houses. It's only house. Yeah, you have to. House. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to write down In your houses. house. No oh, house. Yeah, so house. Yes. I wrote, "Will you break into wood, your not house?" Wood, wood, wood. Uh huh. Would you break into your house? If you lock yourself out. If you locked, not lock, locked. 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 E D. At okay. the end. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. Thank you. Remember it's simple past, guys. Okay, guys, don't forget about yes, the structures. Yes. You need to write it down. If you don't write it down, that's what you're asking me. Okay. All right, but let's see, guys. If you have three months to travel, where would you go? What's wrong? What do you think is wrong with this sentence? What's wrong here, guys? No double space, it's a Right. If you have the comma, months. but let's 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 talk about these guys. You First go to double space. Where would you go? Where will? Uh -huh. Where would you where what? Will you, where will you go? Where would you go? Okay. No, is, yeah. that, is that correct? It's that, correct. Yeah, guys, it's correct. The structure is correct. There was a double space there. All right. Uh, okay. So, oh, that's easy. Wait. Why is it not the, oh, okay, the platform just crashed. Okay, beautiful. All right, so let's see, oh, that's easy. I fly. I don't know, sometimes he would think like, I would fly, guys. But let me ask you something, is the structure correct, guys? Oh, that's easy. I fly to Antarctica. I've always wanted to go there. Is that correct, guys? Would it be correct for me to say that? I will fly. Okay, very good, I will fly, right? Oh, that's easy, I fly. I fly is the same as I would fly, guys, okay? I will fly. Uh -huh. All right, so I would fly is the same as I fly, but whatever the platform wants, okay, I would. Don't I not say I I'm not sure, but I would, I would go jogging I mean, I might. two or three times a week. Okay. I might. Okay, you say I, I might. Okay, I very good. So the model verb is wrong here, so let's use I might. I might go jogging, okay? I might mm -hmm. jog. Uh -huh. What about this one? If I couldn't afford to fix to fix it, I'd have to walk everywhere. What's what's wrong here? Is there something wrong here? If I couldn't afford to fix it, I I'd have to go. Oh, okay, I walk. would, okay. Let's just what would then, okay? I would I would walk everywhere or I would have to go to work everywhere. Yeah, that is correct that we'll have to walk. I would oh, have to work walking. everywhere. Walk walk everywhere. everywhere. Right. What about this one? If I, I didn't would, have another, didn't have. Uh, maybe it's I would, right? Instead of I, I would. Yes, okay. I would. All right, very good, guys. Okay, now if you use, guys, if you use the contraction I, this is correct and this is perfect, okay? This is actually, people talk like that. Nobody talks with I would. People say I, I died, I, I, okay? Got it? I So I'd. just remember that it is correct, but platform is really really picky okay all right antonyms guys let's talk about antonyms do you know what a synonym is what is a synonym um let's see antonyms. jocelyn hello jocelyn welcome jocelyn what is a synonym um a word uh, i don't know antonyms. when the meanings are um, the same Okay, very good. Another word where, in which the meaning is the same, right? Very good job, so Jocelyn. So what do you think, guys? Okay, and remember to turn on the cameras, guys. All right, so what do you think an antonym is? If a synonym is a word similar in meaning, what is an antonym? The opposite. The opposite. 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 Okay, it is the opposite in meaning, right? Very good, guys. So let's try to find the pairs here, okay? So what is the antonym of accept? What is the antonym of accept, guys? Refuse. All right, it is refuse, okay? So let's perhaps, guys, somebody take a screenshot of this, guys, right? 
I'll give you 10 seconds to take a screenshot, send it to the WhatsApp group, and you're gonna and you're gonna do this exercise. Okay, we're gonna find which are the opposites of, for each other words, which are called antonyms. Okay, is it clear, guys? What we're gonna do? Is it clear? Questions? No questions? Okay, very good. All right, did you take a screenshot? No, no. Not yes. Right. Okay, very good, very good, okay. All right, take a screenshot, upload it to TikTok, right? I don't know. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Pauline is alone. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Let me join you back with other people here. All right, you should be good to go. Uh, Xiaomi, Redmi, Note 9, Pro, let's join. Where is this room? Number five. All right, and. Elizabeth, are you there, Elizabeth? Elise, complete the chart, then compare it with a partner. Accept, refuse. Um, good evening, teacher. Hello, Marta. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, I understand the exercise. You don't understand the, the exercise? I'm sorry, I'm not. The practice. You said that you don't understand the exercise. The practice. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. You have to... All right, Eduardo can explain it to you too. You have to find an antony, the antonym of each of the words. You have to pair them up, okay? So the antonym of accept is refuse. So what is the antonym of admit? Got it? You have to find the pair. Oh, okay. okay. All right, very good, very good. Uh, and disagree, no, dislike, 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 I think so, enjoy. Enjoy, dislike, enjoy, and dislike. Okay. And divorce? Mary. Mary, okay. Mary. Fine, lose. Fine, lose. Mm -hmm. Forget, remember. Forget, remember. I think we, we, we find out an antonymous, right? Yeah, save, spend. Save, spend. Are the last one? No, admit, eh, deny. Agree, disagree. Borrow, lend, deny. What? Ah, disagree, dislike. Enjoy. Enjoy. Divorce Mary. Divorce Mary. Find. Low. Remember. No. Find. Find. Lose. Lose. For, forget. Remember. Mm, save the spend. Save the spend. That's all right. Yes. Okay. Do you finish the platform, Elizabeth? I'm, I'm, I'm still in the final exam. I see in the, I saw in the WhatsApp group, you ask about it, right? <laughs> yes, 
Yes, but I I still in the final exam. I I. It's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. Really? Yeah. So so, the platform is very exactly and the period and the commas. <laughs> I already finished the section four, so. Okay. I. I don't know. I think tomorrow I will work about it. Um, let me see. I have in my progress. Mm -hmm. In the final exam. All right, guys. So how are we doing? Did we find all the antonyms? Yes. Nice. Okay. So what are the antonyms that we found? Uh, admit, any, agree, disagree. Um, borrow, lend, deny, deny. Okay. Admit, dislike. Admit, dislike. Okay. Do All right. Divorce, marry. Okay. Find dues. Forget, Forget remember. remember. All right. We're going to go back and. We're gonna go back and talk about our findings, okay? okay. All right. Close session here. Hello. All right, guys. Very good. So, guys, did we find the antonym? What are the antonyms that we have found so far? So, who can give me the first example, guys? All right. So, what is the antonym for admit? Deny. Deny. What is it? Deny. Very deny. good. Okay. It, is, it is deny. Very good job. Okay. Uh, what is the antonym? What is the antonym for agree? Disagree. Disagree. Right, is disagree. Very good. What is the antonym for the next one, guys? Uh, borrow. Borrow. Lend. Very good, okay. What is the, the antonym for deny? Admit. Admit. Admit, admit okay, admit. Very good. What is the antonym for this? Like, well, what is the antonym for dislike? Enjoy. Joy. Very good. Okay, enjoy. Uh, what is the antonym for uh, divorce? Mary. 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 La otra. Mary. Very good. Okay, good job. What is <laughs> what is the antonym for I enjoy? Uh, I'm sorry. No, find. What is the antonym for find? Lose. 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 Right. Forget. Remember. 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 All right. Save. Spend. 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 Very good. Okay. Right. Save. Spend. Okay. You got it, guys. Okay. So those are antonyms. Do we understand? Do we all understand what antonyms? What antonyms are? Yes. yes? Very yes. good. Okay. So those are antonyms, guys. Okay. All right. So. Any questions, guys? What is the antonym for? What is the antonym for the antonym of love? What do you think? Hate. Very good. Okay, Hate. yeah, you got it then. Okay, very good, guys. So let's talk about past models. Do we know what models are? What are model verbs, guys? Can anybody give an example of a model verb? All right, let's go. Okay, last one, guys, to show me. All right, let's wake up. Okay. Last one to show me something black, okay? Show me something black, guys. Five, four, three, two. 
All right, very good. Lucia, show me something like nobody else. Lucia, pick someone, okay? You're the only one. <laughs> okay, Esther too. Esther too, very good. All right, Lucia, pick someone. Uh... <laughs> Jimmy? Jimmy, very good, Jimmy. Okay, so help me read, Jimmy. Jimmy Kimmel, okay. help me read. He use will have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestion about option in the past. Suggestions. Repeat again. Suggestions. Suggest. 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 Right. Very good. Question Suggest. number one. Right. Esther Oriana, question number one. What should have or should have done or what should I have done? What should I have done? Very good. Okay, and the answer, the answer, Lucia? You should have told them about it. Very good. You should, you should have, told them. have hidden it. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Question number two. Marco, question number two. What would you have done? What would you have done? Uh, the answer for that, Jocelyn? I would have called him. I would have called him. Very good job, guys. Okay. In these sentences, guys, where can you identify the past models? What are the past models? Should, should and will. Okay, should, would, okay. All right, we actually pair them with have, guys. Would have, should have. Got it? All right, these guys, should have or have. could have or, have. Good, or, or could have, okay? Those would be past models, okay? So write them down in your number. So every time, guys, that we use past models, we also use what? We also use the verb in what form? Past participle. Past participle, past participle right? What is the past participle form of a verb? It is the number, numeral three, right? It's the number three form of the verb, okay? Very good. We're going to see more examples, guys, so, so you don't get confused, okay? All right, so if we're going to give a suggestion, guys, again, okay, what model do you usually use to give a suggestion, guys? Should, Should right? Very good. Should. Now let's go to the whiteboard and let's yeah, analyze it. Okay? All right, guys, so a past model, guys, should have should, either the word should, could, would, might, May have, okay, may actually. Can I have, le can I have yeah. will? Cool. No, right, because will will be about, cool. or it's a model for the future. So what you're gonna do, guys, is add the word have. What are you gonna do? Uh, have. What are you gonna do, guys? Everybody, what are you gonna do? Oh. Have. You, will add, you will add the word have, okay. Have. Now, what if it is third person? What if we're talking about? Has. Should I say he should has? No. He should has? She, yes. Would, it be, would this be correct, guys? He should no. have. Use the no, problem. guys. He should have. All right. He should you have. do not modify the auxiliary verb here, okay? Yes. All right. So you're always going to use have regardless, guys. Regardless. The verb, guys, after a model verb, always have to be in base form. Remember that. The verb always has to what? The verb after the model, guys, always has to what? The verb after the model. Has to be in base form, okay? All right. You can never use uh you can never use guys a verb after the model. In other in other form other sure. than base form, okay? Very good. Oh my god, what is that? All right, guys, so let's see guys. So uh, what if I, let's talk about advice, guys. What model do you know for giving advice? What question? Should, guys. What is it? Should. Should, okay. All right, should, okay. So if I say, you know what, Esther, you should come to class every day, right? All right, so is this a suggestion, guys? Advice. Is this that a is an order. 
No, it's a suggestion, guys. Okay, it's an advice. Okay, suggestion and advice. That's the same thing. Okay? It's an advice, a suggestion, right? Very good. Now, guys, is this in the past or we're talking about something in the present? What is it? It's talking about the present, guys. Okay, it's talking about the present, right? So far, so good. Are we following so far? Yeah. All right, now, mm -hmm. what if I want to say that same thing, guys, but in the past? What, if, what do I do if I want to say that, if, but in the past? What do you, you think? You should have. This is, hey, debería venir a clase todos los días, right? You should now, think. What if, you, what if you I should want, have. What if I want to say, debería saber, right? That haber, right? Debería saber venir a clase todos los días. You should have. You should think. Um, you should should you should you should have, have, have come, come come to class every, every day. day very good guys okay so you should come to class okay. every day got it so this is in the present or in the past past, the past. all right past. very good very good job okay all right so let me ask you this what would you now, what if I want to make a question, guys? Simple, right? Should is the auxiliary, guys. So what happens to the auxiliary in sentences when we turn them into questions? What happens to them? What do you do? It's in the beginning. Very good. Okay, you put them in the beginning. Should wow. you? Plus subject. Should you have come to class every day, right? Deberías haber venido a clase todos los días, right? So that's it, guys. You, you simply change, you know, the auxiliary at the beginning. What if it is, what if it is a WH question? What do you do? What Let's should see. you have done to come to class every day, right? Hey. Deberías haber hecho para venir a clase todos los días. What, right? So far, so good? All good, yes. very good. All right. Mm -hmm. So now let's practice, guys. What should you, have? should you have done if you had seen? Wait, wait. What you? What should you have done? I'm talking about a re really big regret. What should you? Now, what should your? What should your friend actually? Let's talk about. What should your best friend? Okay. Okay. What should your fr best friend? Um, have done if he had come back, you know, um, no, if he had, yeah, if he had gone back or just if he had gotten together with his or her ex girlfriend or boyfriend ex-couple okay ex-couple again so why you what should your best friend have done if he had gotten together with his or his ex-couple again all right so what do you think guys what do you think what do you think if coronaverto had returned with his girlfriend you know sure, your best friend all right so what, what do you think guys what what advice would you have given to 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 your best friend Let's see. Um, let's 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 work. Let's work on it for five minutes, guys. Okay, I'm gonna send this question to the WhatsApp group, and then you tell me the answer. Okay. So, for example, all right? Let me let me give an example. Okay. All right. You're gonna pretend that your couple, guys, that your that your classmate is your best friend. Okay. So I'm gonna say you should have told your best friend. I'm sorry. You have you should have told your your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? You should have told your girlfriend mm -hmm. sure. you are not a second hand toy. <laughs> All right? No, like you're not deberías haberle dicho a tu novia que no sos un juguete de segunda mano, okay? All right. All right. So what else guys? What else? Okay? So this is an example, guys, okay? So pretend that your classmate is your best friend and what advice would you have, you know, would you give to to your friend? If you know, if you knew, you know that he came, he uh, came back 
you know, he, he got 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 back together with, with uh, their girlfriend, okay? All right, guys. So, is it clear what we're going to do, guys? Now, yeah. before we proceed, guys, right? Subject. Write this down. Subject plus model. Model in the past, right? Plus have. Plus what is told, guys? In what tense is that? Verb. Verb in participle. Verb. Okay. Plus verb in past participle. All right. Plus what else? Compliment. Plus compliment. Okay. Plus what else? Subject. Mm -hmm. You should have. So, well, that, okay, yeah. very good. Okay, yeah. plus compliment. Okay, that's yeah. it. So, this is the structure, guys. Is that clear? Is that clear? All right. You know, okay, guys, just five minutes, guys, and then we're going to come back, okay? Let's go. Let's practice. Oh, two more days left, guys. All right, let's go. Wait. Ah. Uh. All right, let's go. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, guys. I think. All right, did you write down the question, guys, by the way? Well, uh, two. Let, let me stop sharing. All right, did you write down the question? What should yeah, you... Yeah. Okay, so I sent it to everyone, okay? It's in the chat room. Very good. Yeah. Oh, but what's what's difficult? The the, <laughs> the structure for the for the question. What should what should your should not should should what should your best friend have done if he got in together with what should your best friend have done if he ha if he Oh, we're missing okay. had there. We're missing had there. We're missing had there. Okay. Had, had. Okay. Uh, what well, what should your friend? What should your best friend have done if he had gotten together with his or her her ex couple again? Uh, so if he had, all right. That's a third conditional, by the way. Okay. But right, let's just add that. Um. So I'm gonna hold on. Jesus Christ. I didn't notice because I was writing the rest of the sentence. Hold on. But yeah, that's wrong. Hold on. Let me correct it here. So I sent it again to the chat room, guys. Um, hey, let me see. I mean, but it, it's it's okay. Uh, if he had. Yeah. Yes. So what would your friend? What would what should your best friend have done if he had gotten together with his or ex with his or her ex couple? Mm -hmm. Here or his ex couple? Yes. In in the answer is the same, teacher. You should have told your girlfriend you are not a second hand toy. Yeah, I mean that's my example. You have to use your own example. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, what do you and think? the answer could be, I I should have told her, told my girlfriend, you are not your dumb. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That that could be an answer. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That could be a right Thank answer. You. you should have told. <laughs> I should have told. You should. You should have told your boyfriend, right? In this case, because you're talking to Elizabeth, right? So you have told your boyfriend that you're not. You're never gonna go back with him. Okay. Okay. Right? That you're never getting back together, right? Okay. In the third person. What about the third person? Um. The stare for me. The the what? Uh, is there for me a response the the question? No? No, no. You're not going to ask any questions. You're going to give advice only. Okay. To my, to my friend. 
All right, the, the instructions, okay, right, I'm gonna say them in Spanish because I'm not sure if you understood the instructions exactly, but... Other, que, other, other dije, example. Lo que dije fue que tu compañera aquí va a ser tu mejor amiga. Y ella volvió oh. con su ex-novio. Right? Boyfriends. Yes, right, very good. Okay. So, ¿qué le habría dicho a tu amiga? So, pretende que estás enfrente de tu amiga, okay? So, what should she have done? I should have told my, told your No, but boyfriend. you're going to tell that to Elizabeth. You, Elizabeth, should you, have, right? You should have told your ex-boyfriend you, you are not your toy. I'm, yes. You're right? not his toy. He's, he's dumb. Toy. <laughs> his toy. His toy, okay. <laughs> his toy. His toy, His yes. Toy. All right, very good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Le debes decir a tu, a tu, a tu ex novia, aquí estoy, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Amiga, date cuenta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, girls, good job. Okay. All right, guys, how are we doing, girls? Hello, hello, dear. You have a question. Tell me, what questions do you have? Carlita. <laughs> Carla, let's go, Carla. Carlita. <laughs> and when we answer the question, mm -hmm. we use the past participle. The yes. Past participle. Yes, you have to use it in past participle. We're going to go back now. I'm just going to give you a quick tip so you can practice alone, okay? But yeah, um, You are, teacher, you are, mute. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Answer. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, guys. So before we leave, guys, okay, I think I don't think that most of you didn't understand the instructions, guys. I said, vas a pretender que tu compañero es tu mejor amigo y que él volvió con, o él o ella volvió con su, su ex pareja. That's what I said, right? Le vas a decir que hubiera hecho, right? Hey, you should have not, you know, you shouldn't have come back with your ex, with your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, right? So that's what I wanted to say, but uh, I think that many people didn't understand the instructions, so it's okay. All right, so we don't have more time anymore, guys, but we're going to practice more tomorrow, guys. This is a very, guys, I, I think, you know, um, from all topics, guys, from everything that I've been teaching in my life, uh, people are getting you get confused with this topic so much. It is super easy, guys, but people get confused with this so much. You know, it's like saying. Oh, yeah. No, it's okay. It's 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 okay. But we use it a lot in Spanish, guys, and we don't even realize. It. Like when you say. I have a question. All right, He's very not good. from class. <laughs> okay, all right. Hold on then. How, how 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 is the correct form to say amiga date cuenta? <laughs> you can say, don't you realize? All right, don't you realize? Very, very good. All right, uh, amiga, date cuenta. Don't you realize? That's right? the answer to the exercise. So. Don't you realize, amiga, girlfriend? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Yeah, that would be it. Open your eyes. That would be it. It's true. Open your eyes. Thank you. All right, guys, so you're bad giving advices. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to give advices. No, okay, guys, so basically, guys, we use this in, in Spanish, we use it a lot, right? We use it a lot. It's like, huya, debiste haber comprado las tortillas, right? You should have bought the, you know, the tortillas, right? That's how you say it, guys, okay? That, ese debiste haber, right? Uy, no debiste haber vuelto con él. You shouldn't have come back to him, with him, you know? Got it? That you should have, it. guys, is no hubieras, right? Got it? All right, but we're going to see that tomorrow, guys. Thank you very much for joining, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, teacher. Thank All you, right, everybody. Guys. See you. Oh, Thank you. Rest well. Good evening. Thank you.